afternoon, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Spilling Tea. I am your host, Tiffany Daniels, and we're doing this a little bit old school today. Now, we're not following up with any episodes of That Word Doesn't Mean What You Think It Means or a couple other videos I planned on doing because I'm still fighting with my software that I bought that is now refusing to work properly. That's neither here nor there. Today's just going to be a brief little musing on the thing going on with Instagram and AH. Okay. So, Little Miss Thing has decided after a fan of JD posted a picture of him wearing a suit during the time he was with AH towards the end of his relationship and then wearing the same suit four years later where there was an obvious difference in appearance. He was more useful, more relaxed, looking a lot better than he had when he was still with AH. Well, she has this tendency <coughs> of challenge accepted when it comes to any of us. So, she goes and posts a picture of her wearing the black dress that she wore when she went to go get the restraining order, then supposedly a picture of her wearing the same dress four years later during the original UK trial. Now, a lot of folks are getting a little miffed about this. They're getting upset. They're calling it mocking JD. Uh, but there's, there's a thing you all are missing. You're missing the beauty of it. So what am I talking about? Don't get angry with me. I haven't suddenly jumped on her side, but let's think about this. She was married to this man. They were in a relationship years previously. You would think she would know just how inept at social media he is, right? So, while she's going to all this effort to mock him, to take shots at him on social media, y'all are forgetting one thing. This man, bless his soul, Bless his soul, I have my own problems with technology. I mean, look at the quality of these vids. I'm not exactly like one of the biggest YouTubers here. Obviously, most majority of this is from my phone and my laptop, and I obviously have no idea what I'm doing a good majority of the time. But this poor man has no idea what he's doing on social media. He literally has a friend's wife, uh, bless her soul, thank you, who takes care of the Instagram account for him so he can stay in contact with his fans, for God's sake. Folks, while she is going to all this effort and trying to smear him and trying to rub in her so-called victory, when it was actually NGN's victory, by the way, if I might add, he, on the other hand, is on his island, probably taking a morning swim. Who knows, it's afternoon, he may be drinking a Mai Tai by now. Like, without a care in the world. Like, seriously, that's the whole beauty of it, folks. She is literally... The toddler throwing a temper tantrum while mommy has headphones on and is taking a nap. Yeah. Yeah. I don't really think he's worried about any of the vitriol that she is trying to put out over social media. I think more and more every day he's just feeling the relief that he no longer has to put up with that insanity face to face. Just my opinion. Just my opinion. What I think she's doing 
Because come on, folks. She knows this about him. Obviously, she knows this about him. I don't think this is to bait him. I think it's to bait us. And it's to bait the media. She's dangling the carrot. And whether it's positive or negative feedback, her name's being mentioned. Her picture is being shown on social media, in the media. It's clickbait, and she, she wants to draw the hate, the admiration, hell, even the indifferent people to take a look. It's very much, look at me, 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 look at me. That's all it is. That's all it is. She knows he's not perusing Twitter every single day or going on Insta every single day to see what new insanity she's put up. More likely than not, the folks who are running the Insta forum make sure that her and all her stands are blocked. So if he does have the assistance so that he can go and take a look at it and see some of the messages from his fans, he doesn't have to see that hateful nonsense. So, guys, this is a direct snapback at us. That's it. That's it. And if anything, I think we should take our cue from him. Just look at it. Aw, oh, that's nice. What's the matter? Are people not paying attention to you today? Aw, oh, there, there, A.H. You know what? Why don't you go take another hike? Seriously, folks, let's take our cue from him. Let's not get upset and all riled up about it because this literally is just a girl who never grew up who is desperately wanting attention and doesn't care how she gets it. And the fact of the matter is she doesn't get attention unless it's about Aquaman or JD. That's it. So, while she's going to all this effort to be a mocking little five year old, let's sit back, chill, let her talk. Because people who do this, you give them enough time and you let them run their mouth, they're going to tell on themselves. Alright folks, this is all I got for this afternoon. I'm going to be taking a little bit of a break today from my normal vids. Uh, probably once I calm down a little bit, I'm just going to get a hold of tech support and just tell them either fix it or give me my money back. <sighs> In the meantime, folks, I do want to let you know before we go that 22 subscribers that got me over to 200 have dropped by 21 subscribers. This all happened within the frame of 24 hours. I gained those subscribers and they were suddenly yanked away within 24 hours. I'm still going to do the live stream because I've already promised and I've already started preparing. But if you don't mind sharing and getting out the videos, I would really appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like don't forget to hit the comments. I do appreciate your time this afternoon, and I hope you have a good one. Bye-bye.